Today I want to talk about something that may sound counterintuitive but can have a profound impact on your mental health and happiness knowing how little you matter. Now before you dismiss this as nihilistic or negative let me explain what I mean. You see many of us go through life feeling like we have to prove ourselves impress others or live up to a certain expectations. We often worry about what others think of us and feel pressured to be perfect in every way. But here is the thing this mindset can be exhausting and toxic. This can lead to anxiety, depression and burnt out. It can make us feel like we are constantly on a treadmill trying to catch up with an imaginary ideal with that we can never reach. That's why I want to share a story with you today, a story that shows the power of not taking yourself too seriously. It's a story of a woman named Maria who used to be a workaholic with high standards for herself and others. She had a successful career, a loving family and a busy social life. But she also had a nagging feeling that something was missing, a sense of purpose, a deeper connection with herself and others. One day Maria decided to take a break from her routine and go on a solo trip to a remote island. There she met a group of fishermen who lived a simple and peaceful life without any of the material possessions or status symbols that she was used to. At first Maria felt out of place and uncomfortable. She didn't know how to communicate with the fishermen or how to cope with the silence and solitude of the island. But as the days went by, she started to open up and listen to their stories. She realized that the fishermen didn't care about her career, her looks or her social status. They didn't judge her or expect anything from her. They simply accepted her as a fellow human being with flaws and strengths, joys and sorrows. And you know what? Maria felt a sense of relief and liberation that she had never experienced before. She realized that she didn't have to prove herself to anyone or live up to anyone's standards. She could just be herself and that was enough. When Maria came back from the island, she decided to make some changes in her life. She quit her job, sold her fancy car and started a non-profit organization that helped underprivileged children. She also made a conscious effort to connect with her family and friends on a deeper level and to be more present in the moment. And you know what? Maria became happier than she was ever before. She discovered that by knowing how little she mattered in the grand scheme of things, she was able to let go of her worries and enjoy life for what it is. a beautiful and fleeting experience so i invite you to embrace the idea that you are a small but precious part of the universe and that your life can be meaningful and fulfilling even without fame fortune or status don't take yourself too seriously know that you matter but also know that you don't matter as much as you think you do and that's okay